When you see wind turbines in an open landscape, you may not realize how much effort goes into selecting the location of each one. Of course, it's important to be in a relatively windy area, but after that, it's the features of the ground that guide wind turbine placement. Consider an open terrain. First, we focus on land where owners have indicated they would like to host wind turbine. Then we identify sensitive environmental features, such as wetlands or unique wildlife habitats, to avoid. Permanent residences, property lines, and roads are avoided by a minimum distance, which is usually defined by a local government. Potential sound levels at certain receptors, such as residences, are also studied and considered to ensure that sound is at appropriate levels. Existing industrial infrastructure, such as utility or pipeline corridors, are also buffered to ensure safety and accessibility are maintained. Once all that is considered, specific requests from host landowners to minimize any interference with existing land uses such as ranching and farming are also key factors. Within the areas remaining, topography, engineering roads, and electrical collector lines are factored in. The remaining spaces are candidates, but it is also important to maintain a minimum distance between each turbine. As you can see, wind turbine siting is determined by a complex set of environmental, social, and technical factors. For more information, visit blueearth.ca.